Good afternoon, good evening. Uh, it's your boy Darius. It's your boy D Hoops, man. You no, know I'm saying, aka you got that God in you, aka Chosen Star Seed, and I'm back with another great video, man. Hey, so, bro, fellas, man, I'm about to get y'all some. I'm about to get y'all some game, man. Look, look, you have to motivate. Look, if you want to be with a woman, you gotta motivate her, bro. Like, you can't be no follower, bro. You can't be a simp, like. A woman needs something to look forward to every day she get about that bed. You know what I'm saying? A woman needs to know, like, she looks at you, she sees life. She sees God, Elohim. You know what I'm saying? For the people that don't know God's real name, Elohim. So it's like, okay, when you think about it like that, hey, make sure you like and comment, you know what I'm saying? And to the new subscribers, thank you for watching my videos, man. Hey, welcome to the family. But hey, Real shit, like the video. But yeah, so it's like, okay, you think about it like that, you got a, a woman needs to find that God in her masculine man. You gotta be a king, you gotta be a leader because you know it's a temporary world. She will follow you. She's the woman, the woman vessel is very vulnerable. So it's just like, they just act off emotion. They're women, they're, you know, they're weird. We're weird too. But it's just as a man, you have to lead her to being a divine feminine because, and, that, and that's the thing that, and, and you know, on the deep, aspect brad that's this is exactly why these these they don't want you know that divine masculine feminine to be together because if you have a i say you know god fearing a creator like you fear the creator on a on a deep aspect if you fear the creator you know that damn you know your life can be gone just like that so if both of y'all know that but you also love you care for each other. You're actually real. You practice what you preach. Y'all both think on a divine spectrum. I mean, I mean, divine meaning beyond a religion standpoint. Y'all really can think on a spiritual aspect. Boom. Like, they, they, y'all both successful at that? Oh, it's, it's done. Y'all gonna have generational wealth for forever. Because you did what it took to even come together and actually be different, be different from a lot of other couples. So you have to want to motivate. You have to lead her. Lead her to the wall. Lead her to being great, just like you. If you're a great, successful person, you know that money don't mean shit. You know money will come to you regardless. It will always flow in your life. Because as a man, you know you're taking care of your business. You know that you have a balance of a divine feminine, divine masculine. If you're spiritual, you know about this. If you if you aren't on if you're not in your spiritual journey yet, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about, but you will get it. You you will get it. You know, you just have to keep learning, keep researching. And so by you knowing God, you have to know that. You have to be in balance. Like, think about it. No woman wants a man who doesn't have no emo ha has no emotion. Like, you're not a robot. So it's like, if she's sad, you know, you got to make sure if you love her, you got to be there. Like, be care to her feelings. Just like how if you're going through something, you want that woman to care to your feelings too, right? So you have to have some type of, like, feelings. You have to have something. You're not going to be happy every day. It's just it's not possible. On top of that, you're not going to be sad every day. But as a man, you got to know those are temporary feelings. They come and go, do they not? You are not mad 24 hours out of the day. You're not. You're not. You there was a spark in your, in your day even for a minute. You were happy. You were excited. You laughed. You 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 did something, but you let them temporary thoughts eat you up inside because you bought them up. And this is how you perceive that emotion. It feels like it's forever, but it's not. So once you know that, as a man, you're able to take care of yourself. You gotta take care of this vessel. You are a spiritual being. Fellas, we are leaders. At the end of the day, a woman and a kid is better than us being here. You gotta accept that. Because right in the day, women are able to breastfeed that child. Women bring life into this world. You know what I'm saying? We help out, but they literally are the portals for the kids to come to this world. So by you knowing that you have to motivate her to being the best that she can be by taking care of herself and actually representing Elohim, representing Yahweh, representing Gaia, representing God, the real names of God. God is a title. Jesus is a title. So, you know, by you knowing that, and what I mean is by titles for the one, for the new people who are seeing this video, what I mean by God is a title, meaning like Satan walks around with a cross calling himself God too. Simple as that. And if, and if, it, if I had to simplify it more for you, just know there are people who literally worship Satan but call him God. People in human form who do this. So, that's why people worship saying. So um, now when you think about it, okay. So you all both have to love God, know the real meaning of God's name, know it's a spiritual warfare, spiritual everything. You got you to be a protector. You gotta, she needs to lean on you. Her and the kids got to lean on you to protect them. 
you already know you are protected because you go out into the world and you every day is a fight for you. Every day is a fight for women, but every day is a fight for you because at the end of the day, they want to take out the divine masculine men because they want to they want to soft this society of men. That's exactly why it's hard for people to get motherfucking married out here and stay in a solid relationship because many women are independent. They're more independent and in their masculine you know, dominant side of their selves besides the men. The men are in their submissive phase. Niggas is out here in their feelings and getting finessed by women now. And it's like y'all niggas getting pimped out by, by, by girls, by women. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just like, look, and the day, if you are too blind to see that shit, that's sad, my brother. That's sad. You're supposed to be leading her into the... Like, if you're flaunting money, do not be surprised if a woman only wants you for money. If you are... If you're just yourself, a woman will accept you for anything because you know, you are honest with her. You're not leading her on. If you want to be just friends, nigga, you can still marry your friend, my nigga. You have to marry your best friend. So it's like motivate her to knowing this shit. I'm motivating all the women who are watching this video. I'm motivating you because uh, you don't even know me. You haven't even seen me. Daniel. like some of you have, some of you haven't. But I'm motivating you to know that you can literally do anything by yourself. That's exactly why a lot of these artists are helping you to be independent because you don't need nobody you just want somebody you don't need we are all people are temporary we have to go we come and go in this world anyway you don't you know what i'm saying like this shit it gets deep it gets deep like that you gotta realize you don't need nobody you just want somebody because realize that spouse will be gone with it y'all both may go at the same time y'all somebody's gonna have to go first somebody gotta go last you never know. You're temporary. So it's like in the day, you know that you will see them again, though. If you understand death, you know about death. You know that it's shit. We are forever. We don't die. So you will see that spouse, your partner. You will see them again on the other side. This is a race, baby. It was, it's actually not a, not a race, but it's a race. So it's like you want to get to that. You want to get to the highest frequencies, baby. You do like... <laughs> Come on, y'all. You you got to, come on, man. We this is these are bodies. This shit don't don't matter. It doesn't. It's your spiritual being. When you go to sleep, you leave your body. So it's like, woman, I'm motivating you to know yourself. Know yourself on a spiritual aspect besides the physical aspect. Really know God. Once you know about God, you know about yourself. You got to heal from them traumas. It is not your fault. It is not your fault. You have to heal, and you have to love yourself before any man can do that for you. You have to. Accept that you will not get them apologies. You gotta accept that you have been cheated on. There's nothing wrong with you. None of that. Niggas just don't know how to love you. Simple as that. So, therefore, you have to love yourself. So, therefore, you know what to expect. They can't deliver that. They gotta go. Simple as that. No hard feelings, but it is what it is. You are seen as the enemy. You are not You are not of Elohim. You are not of God. So, you, therefore, you must go. And this is why people will not talk to or, you know what I'm saying, want to get with women that are on the divine spectrum of independence in their life because that shit fear that puts fear into niggas that's why women if you don't find a divine you know masculine man that has a balanced divine feminine and masculine it won't work that's just my opinion though so at the end of day take care of yourselves women y'all y'all can do this shit man y'all like think about it y'all are life y'all give life i came here from a woman to even give you that message and my mom didn't you know what i'm saying my mom didn't give me this knowledge but she brought me here though but my mom you know what i'm saying i love my mother to death and she brought me here that's why i always honor my mother i want a woman to be like my mom you know what i'm saying like you had to you know that's just how i see it and it's like women y'all can do this shit Y'all, think about this. My my perspective: if women were to were to change up how life was, the world would be better. The world would be better. It just off of the feelings and all that. But men touch this shit. That's why there's war. That's why there's fucking disease. That's why there's money. All this shit. That's because of man. It's because of mankind. Mankind. It's in the fucking name, mankind. So you have to know yourself, man. Know yourself, ladies. You know y'all are beautiful. Y'all get life. You know, without us, we came from a woman. So therefore. Think about that word, like, we come from the womb. We all are portals. I came from a different... Yeah, so I don't want to get too deep into that. That's that's different. I got to, you know, yeah. So, end of the day, women, y'all are, y'all are beautiful. Y'all are y'all are everything. If a man can't love you, that's cool. Everybody's been for somebody out there. Somebody will love you. Somebody will love you properly. Just let, let Elohim do it for you. So, end of the day, take care of yourself. Appreciate yourself and love yourself. You're beautiful. You're light. You're love, man. Real shit. You you come from Gaia, Mother Nature. So be appreciative of everything you do. 
and use discernment. Open your third eye. Open your third eye. Escape the matrix, ladies. I love y'all. I'm gone.